Virgos, welcome to your November heart spread read. It's for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it reads the one that's on your mind and in your heart. That's what we're going to pull up. That's what we're asking. Using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. I've already shuffled. On the bottom of the deck, Nine Swords. We'll count it lightly in the heart spread. I look at you in your seventh house. This is the person that's on your mind, your anima or animus, whatever kind of you're projecting there um, is what it is you're interested in. And you don't have to be with this person. It just reads uh, who's in your heart. Um, you could pick up someone who's passed over easily. That's who's in your heart. Um, you don't necessarily have to be physically with them. So, Eight of Cups. Now, this is your energy in and around relationships where your mind and the heart is at right now. I look at this as a baseline. Uh, it's not really about your person yet. And when you see this Eight of Cups, um, you know, you're recently walking out of a r emotional arrangement, a marriage, a relationship. Uh, you're putting something behind you emotionally. And this kind of reading, it, it usually, now if I was, uh, I could read this a little differently, the heart spread, instead of your other person you're thinking of, it could be your higher self or something, you know. But here, this is going to be like uh, kind of in the energy, like when you met this person or as you meet this person. Uh, uh, still walking away emotionally from whatever was before or a series of those now it's not a great energy to come in with um, justice and the other reading <laughs> uh, we didn't have justice but major Kana. so uh, justice for them again being that this is a relationship reading and this is reading their energy, again, trying to separate it from you, baseline, kind of where are they at as a human being, just beyond like their relationship with anyone, maybe, you know, with a, a love relationship, but certainly implies, other than Libra, um, that they would be dealing with a divorce, you know. So here you are trying to still deal emotionally or not having finished dealing or got, getting closure emotionally with your relationship in the past and this person probably still married that's how i would kind of read this be the most uh, obvious interpretation or some you know iteration of that you know uh, still actively engaged with their whatever now let's see here um you're coming in with the nine of cups and this shows the way you're reacting to them how do you feel about them now you go from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. I really like this, actually. I think this is about this is about the best you could do with that Eight of Cups, you know. Because really, you know, you're not supposed to jump into another relationship before you're emotionally finished with the old one, you know. Don't look at me. I'm terrible. But that's what you're doing here. But now, once you're in the relationship, you know, you're kind of settling down. And just make it just really where you should be with Nine of Cups. And so, if they make you feel like you go from the Eight of Cups to, to the Nine of Cups energy, I think that's pretty good. It's kind of balanced. Um, it's like maybe they're just helping you kind of get an emotional handle onto the situation and really put it behind you. Look at this stance, you know, with the arms in front of the chest there. If you could see, um, very determined here. Yeah, maybe determined to put that past behind you and just be happy. Justice and transformation. Wow. So, you know, this person's marriage or the dissolution thereof or their significant relationship or the dissolution thereof uh, is going to have some kind of this platonic energy to it, even though this specifically shows their energy um, towards you and because I think like uh, I don't want to put like this on you you uh, you this relationship that you have with them was the instrument of transformation literally they have just caused a dissolution of this marriage relationship and their interaction with you is transformative you know and these are both major arcana so this is not 
you know, a joke. This is like um, soulmate stuff. Um, see where it goes from here. I mean, there's, uh, I think, about at the point where every relationship is a soulmate relationship. It's just a matter of how you look at it. And um, there's definitely something going on here with you guys. This is your advice from spirit towards them, the Empress energy. What's the best advice for you in interacting with them, the Empress energy? Well, I love it coming under the Nine of Cups. It's basically telling them, you know, um, Virgos, um, and uh, let this make you even stronger, um, this relationship. You know, let you really get strong. And this is about you really being strong in yourself here. Um, being the Empress, Venus energy, taking care of yourself. Um, it's a feminine kind of receptive energy, though. Well, keep in mind, this is how you're being advised to react to your person. But it is very strong energy. You know, the Empress completely knows her self-esteem. She does not tolerate anything she really doesn't want. Why would an Emperor or Empress tolerate anything they don't want in their life around them? They don't, okay, for a moment. Six of Wands, and this is your advice. This is really interesting advice from Spirit here, if you're cross-watching. If not, Virgos, I'd love for this to be shared with their, their lovers and see if they can get anything out of it. Um, I kind of consider this like a green light for the cross watcher. Um, it's saying like, okay, you know, yeah, you're, did you get it? This is part of this transformative process. Um, it's very emotional too, by the way, you know, Virgos, you know, not supposed to be all that emotional. I should add for this reading for this Virgo, you're very emotional, plenty emotional, not a bad way. Just, just very emotional. And maybe that's why coming in, you still hadn't dealt with your Eight of Cups issue of detaching emotionally from the other, from what previous one, no? Um, but now with the Nine of Cups and the Empress, it's like something about this relationship inspires you to really, I mean, get your shit really together. Just could totally get your shit together. Um, and it's basically the universe giving your other, uh, your person here a green light. And saying go for it put some energy into it six of wands you know um, why don't you consider this a victory I mean you got the Empress over here interesting energy so the seven of wands and this is in the crux of the heart spread here this is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole there's, uh, when I see this here, Seven of Wands, this is the righteous defense of the castle. It's kind of what this card mostly means. Righteous defense of the castle. Wands are actions. You guys, as a part of your relationship, you may have to take actions together to defend your relationship from family members, from friends, quote unquote, friends telling you. Seven of Wands there, in between the Empress and the Six of Wands. And you're coming out of this, Virgo, however you may look at it, as the stable one. This person will come to you. That's the Six of Wands, too. They're looking right at that Seven of Wands. Let me put it this way. Your person, cross-watcher, if you're watching, uh, you may experience this as it, uh, you have to fight your way out, quote-unquote. Or maybe they say to you, Virgo, oh, my God, they say the words. You know what, it's like I had to fight my way out to get to you, to get to uh, this relationship. I had to fight my way out of the other relationship. Um, and even as a couple, there's a certain defensive stance, you know. And I'm not going to poo-poo this as low vibe and whatever. I mean, sometimes it's necessary. There are platonic forces in the world, crazy exes, whatever. And, you know, sometimes you do what you got to do. But, you know, you, I me, mean, personally, I'm Sagittarius. Don't stop me from doing important things like love and, you know, live and all of that. Um, that's worth the fighting for. Um, but I see this as, boy, both of you guys doing this together. And, um, you know, I just kind of like it. Maybe it just suits my mood. Please do watch this whole family read. And forgive me for being a day late. I've been really sick with these uh, readings, so... 
Normally I try to get it out on Wednesday is uh, Leo and Virgo day. Uh, we'll get back on it. Um, but the Soul Family Read might be helpful if you feel like you resonate. Just check it out. It's a collective read. Um, you know, this is terribly karmic stuff here. And uh, we're going to see in a second here what the outcome is. Because I kind of want to know myself. Um, with your person coming towards you, you're receiving them. Seven of Swords. This is why you have the Seven of Wands. Now... This could go two ways. This is the outcome of your relationship. This is either going to mean that the entire outcome of your relationship was based basically on lies. No way I put it other than that, that it was based on lies. What I find a bit reassuring is the Seven of Wands. Why? Because this guides me. This is advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. And the Seven of Wands just really strongly implies the two of you defending yourself against outside influences. And then the outcome, it makes sense here. You know, um, if this, you know, either someone's lying or you guys are, you potentially like could be in danger. Like, I mean, how would this work? That'd be a crazy ex, right? That'd be a crazy ex. You know, doesn't have to be the dude, could be the guy, the chick. I mean, you know, crazy's crazy. God, you're in America, there's more guns than people. I mean, I'm, I hate to go there, but this could literally be like that kind of dangerous energy. It damn well is definitely, if not that, then it's, uh, you know, defamatory uh, accusations and these kinds of things. Um, that, again, you guys may want to defend yourself again. You know, um, I'd say, I've said this before, go in and sit down together and tighten up all your passwords of all your media banks, everything, uh, company, contract. You know, just as an exercise, that's kind of, I mean, you got seven of wands over the seven of swords. Your advice is take action. Meet every one of these 70, seven swords, seven lies, seven defamations, Sevens, you know, um, innuendos that are inaccurate or unhelpful, or irrelevant or immature, um, and address them. Yeah, like I say, you can be defending your castle. But, you know, I don't know. It, it, you can't fight for love. What are you going to fight for? No, it wasn't a huggy dugby uh, read but uh, give me like thumbs up let me know if it resonates really love you to comment do subscribe thank you guys